go ahead and ride this buddy. Now yeah, this is lap two. Kind of like setting a personal best. 30 miles. I did it in 17.1. So by the time I get back to Ozark, it'll be 46 miles. I had a good swim. My legs feel good. You notice things one mile at a time. It's, it's one lap at a time. And then, you know, when I increase it, it just motivates me to even want to go farther, faster, quicker. But you got to take it in stages. If I'm motivating you and you're, you're going to get active, I don't expect anybody to just get out there and just romp too hard. I've seen too many people do it and they hurt their knees, they hurt their ankles. They, they get a setback and then they basically they quit. But if you'll take your time, I've taken years to get to where I can do this. You have to set a goal for six months in the future. You're the product of your last six months thinking. I know I say that all the time, but it, it's true. It's really true. So if you want to change the dynamics of your workout or the dynamics of your exercising or even how you eat, you just have to change the way you think about what you're doing. And when you do something, you do it consciously thinking. Don't do it and just think that you, you're going to be okay. Uh, that's subconscious thinking and that, that doesn't, even when you're eating a meal, if you eat that meal consciously, every bite, chew it, think about it. And uh, what it do is it'll turn into more energy. It'll feed your body. So your next workout will be maybe even faster. But we do what we do the way we do it because we get motivated. So I'm going to motivate myself on down this road.